Waltz Gallery will present the first major retrospective exhibition in more than a hundred years of the eminent Victorian artist Frank Hull. Widely regarded in his own lifetime as a leading figure in social realist and portrait painting, Hull's early death meant that the artist never fully received the acclaim that his work merited. Francis Montague Hull was born in London in 1845 into a family of notable engravers. Having entered the Royal Academy schools in 1860, the young artist achieved early success and won a scholarship to visit Europe for his painting The Lord Gave and the Lord Hath Taketh Away, Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. But, having travelled through France, in Italy Hull resigned the scholarship, returning north. Back in London, Hull's powerful portrayals of the impact of loss, departure and death attracted attention. In 1870, he was commissioned by Queen Victoria and travelled to the poor fishing village of Cullercoats to capture a community's hard life at first hand. This resulted in no tidings from the sea. In 1872, Hull joined the group of eminent artists who illustrated the newly launched The Graphic. The artist's reputation grew and he was admired by Whistler and Van Gogh who collected several of his prints from the graphic. Hull was elected an associate of the Royal Academy in 1878 on the strength of one of his most celebrated works, Newgate Committed for Trial. The 1880s witnessed a change in direction for Hull. The artist stopped subject painting in favour of portraiture. This change can be seen as a response to a shift in artistic taste that occurred at the time, but, significantly, it was also brought about by financial need. Elected Royal Academician in 1883, Hull's career was at its peak. Commissions were constant and the artist would not decline them. On the 31st of July 1888, exhausted, Hull died. The annual Old Masters exhibition, held at the Royal Academy the following year, dedicated two rooms to the artist, showing more than 50 works. For the first time, this exhibition will bring together 27 of his major works to examine how, during his short career, Frank Hole became a distinct and insightful voice in British painting.